How's it going guys? Leon here. So awesome to see your smiling faces and I see some of you guys have eye bags. How'd you know that? Welcome to another architectural video. So for today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit your 3D renderings to take it from this to this. Boy, that'll look really stupid if I didn't edit any images while I was like waving in the air like note to self. Edit photos in video later. Okay. You're not the boss of me. But I'm you. Fine, I'll just put it in. Jeez. To take it from this to this. First thing we are going to learn is how to export your render images. So for this video, I'm going to be using V-Ray for SketchUp 2.0. So this could also be used with V-Ray 3.6 or any higher versions of V-Ray. So if you have higher versions, don't worry, this video will also work for you. So first thing we are going to do, I'm going to teach you a hack. I'm not really sure if you can call this a hack, but when I first saw this whole technique thingy, it really blew my mind like how the Death Star blew Alderaan. Too soon. Anyway, shout out to Star Wars fans out there. I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. I'm going off topic. Anyways, getting on with the video. Okay, so here's the hack, guys. As you can see in my screen, I have pre-rendered this whole 3D image right here. So what we are going to do is we are going to edit the image a little bit on SketchUp. So just click these three toggle thingies on the bottom. Use color levels correction. Use color curve correction. And use exposure correction. Okay, so click those three toggles. And then click the first toggle. And then this huge box with a ton of things will come out. The only thing you need to adjust here is the histogram. So you drag this slider to the left to make it a little bit brighter. Because our image seems too dark for me. And then you drag this other one a little bit to the left. Okay, so the colors are going to look a little bit washed out. But that's fine. We are going to edit that in post. Okay, now it's time to export it. Click on save all image channels. It's this two floppy disk thingies. Alright, now that you have clicked that, you could save your file either as a JPEG or a bitmap. But I prefer bitmap because it sounds cooler. Generally, I think bitmaps are better than JPEGs, so yeah. Sorry to all the JPEG lovers out there. <laughs> okay, now that you have saved that, open it with Photoshop. Okay, now that we have opened it with Photoshop, click the background image and then press Ctrl J to duplicate the background and make the background invisible. So that background image is gonna be our backup just in case we mess up with the whole image. We can always go back to the background image and then duplicate it again. Now that we have this, we are just going to add a little bit more contrast. And then just add a little bit more brightness. Let's add a little bit more contrast. Okay, now we're just going to add a little bit more hue. So I'll click that again. And let's make that a little bit more saturated. Okay, once you're happy with your image, place that inside a folder. Because you know, organization is key. To any Photoshop file, let's just name it folder one. All right, now that we have made a new folder for organization's sake, create a new layer by pressing Control Shift N, press OK. And then what we are going to do is we are going to put light hits on your light there, there, and there. Whoa, that just took the image from mediocre to super awesome looking. Okay, so how did I do this light hits, you ask? Okay, I'm going to teach you guys this little technique that I do. It's not really a hack, it's just a technique. So let's delete that layer and create a new layer. Click on the brush tool or press B and then go to your brush options and then click this tiny arrow thingy on the upper right corner. Okay, so here you should see a bunch of brush presets. Okay, so I already pre-downloaded Adobe Photoshop brush presets into my Photoshop. So in order to do so, you just have to go to the internet, type in Google Adobe Brush Presets. There we go. Just look for the website that's called Brush Easy and then type light. So once you've done that, you can see a bunch of lens flares. Just download any of these brush presets that like tickles your fancy or whatnot. <laughs> tickles your fancy that that I never used that sentence in real life. I don't know why I decided to use that in this video, but okay. So download one of those, go to the folder which you saved Photoshop in, and then 
go inside the presets folder and then go inside the brushes folder and just paste whatever you downloaded from the website into this brushes folder. After doing so, the brush that you have downloaded and pasted into this folder should already come out into this whole toolbar right here. So we'll just click on lights, click OK, and then we are, I'm going to choose the third one here. Now the only thing we have to do is change the foreground color to white and then adjust the brush to your preference. And there you go. Okay, so I like to use these lens flares where light is supposed to be shining through. So I use this for lights when I forgot to like put lights in my rendering. And then there's a light bulb right here. Let's just put a lens flare there and see this big light right here. Boom. Okay, so that doesn't look that realistic. So what we are going to do is we are going to dodge that part. So what the dodge tool does is it basically lightens any of the part that you brush over with. So let's just dodge that whole area right there. I think that's fine, but I think my lens flare isn't big enough. So let's just erase the lens flare we did a while ago. And then repeat it with the larger lens flare. Boom. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, now that we're done with that, we are going to add a little bit of life on our window because right now our window is just pure white and uh, I really want to see a little bit of background, maybe a forest outside that window. That is going to add a little bit more like oomph. So here's what you do. Remember a while ago when I told you guys to save all image channels? Okay, so what that means is it saves this main rendering and then saves an alpha channel, okay? So I'll teach you guys how to use an alpha channel. Go to the folder from which you exported your whole rendering and then select the corresponding alpha image. So for me, it is this test1-alpha.bmp. Okay, drag that into your Photoshop. And there we go. Okay, so let's just duplicate that, Control J, and then drag it into our rendering. All right, so now what we have to do is just align it with the rendering. Now that we have lined that with the rendering, just use the magic wand tool and then right click color range. So what this does is it's going to select whatever color you click on the image. So let's click on this part. Okay. Now that we have selected that color, make that layer invisible. Go to your main rendering image and then click delete. So what that does is it deletes the whole background of your SketchUp image. So this only works if your windows are totally see-through. If there's something blocking your windows, this whole alpha channel thingy won't work. Now go to Google and search for a background. Now that you have chosen your background image, just drag that into Photoshop. Bring that into your project space and then put it at the background. Okay, we have that in our background. Okay, I think that background looks super fake because the background is all dark and then our window is all bright and stuff. So what we have to do is we have to brighten that background image. So click that and just increase the brightness. Okay, I think that background looks fine. Once you're happy with how your whole background looks and how it incorporates into your rendering, now it's time for the final touches in your image. So what you're going to do is basically dodge and burn your whole rendering to your liking. So when I say dodge and burn, basically I'm just going to begin dodging the floor and woo, okay, look how better that looks. So the floor looks a little bit lighter now. And then I think I'm going to make the ceiling a little bit lighter. So we are going to dodge that and dodge that wall a little bit. You're going to dodge this area. All right. Okay, so I think I'm happy with how the dodging process went. So time to save the image. Name your files as specific as possible. So sample render edit for video. Okay. Also put the date September 17, 2018. That way you can easily search it. Okay. So save it as a Photoshop file. This is super crucial. Okay. Saving it as a Photoshop file enables you to edit this image later. Now that you have saved it as a Photoshop file, save it again as a JPEG file so that you can upload it to your social medias like your Instagram or your Facebook so you can brag to your friends how good you are at rendering already. <laughs> don't do that, don't, bragging is bad guys. Okay, so let's save that again as a JPEG file and make sure that the quality is in the maximum range. All right, click OK and boom, I think we are done guys. So let's check that out. Here's the before and then here's the after. Boom, oh, whoo, look, look how much better a little bit of Photoshop could do to your images. I guess that is the whole video. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something new, especially the hack I told you about the first part of this video. Thank you for watching this video guys and thank you for subscribing. 
it means a lot to me and I have currently reached 10,000 subscribers like what? <laughs> that is totally unbelievable to me. I thought 10,000 subscribers would like take me three years or some something like that. But yeah, I reached 10,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for subscribing and supporting my channel, guys. It means a lot to me. You don't know how happy I am when I found out that I got 10,000 subscribers. I was basically like, I found that out in the night. So I was like, yes, making sure that I don't wake up anyone. I don't know why I'm oversharing this to you guys. This video is probably 10 minutes long now. But anyways, I would just like to thank you guys again for subscribing. I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace.